All right, so let's head down to the field now. As it looks like kickoff is moments away. Steven Gostowski's readying his team for the kickoff. They've got him down there. Out of the University of Virginia, quarterback Matt Schaub. If Matt Schaub would have stayed healthy and was able to finish the year out and go in the playoffs, I really believe the Houston Texans would have been in the Super Bowl. When you look at the Houston Texans on offense, you can't help but take note, first off, of Arian Foster. Uh, he's the big smooth. I mean, Arian Foster is one of those guys you watch him run, you go, man, that was 10 yards? Because he makes it look so easy. He is one of the best in the NFL, and it's about time he gets recognized. The Texans get a first down. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. Nice job by the offense picking up that first down here to start the game, and that is important to give you a little confidence, to give you some rhythm, and most of all, just release some of that pressure you feel. Of course, in 2011, he got to take that team about halfway down the road to the playoffs, and, and then, of course, he had that season-ending injury. But Schaub, going back to his days in Atlanta, well, we saw him in one of his first national exposures in a game against the New England Patriots. You knew the guy could really fling it down the field. Yeah, you can, you know, and I think what's what's happened to what we saw with Matt Schaub, he has good size, and he can just make all the throws, and he's very graceful at doing it. So it doesn't jump out at, jump out at you because of that. But look at the numbers he has put up as a Houston Texans quarterback over the years. You know, Matt Schaub has been worth the trade, and he is definitely a frontline NFL quarterback. That reception gave them the first down. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. Looking at this defense, Gerard Mayo in on so many tackles. Gerard Mayo can diagnose the run and fly up in there. He is a big linebacker, and he's not afraid of a little pain and hitting that running back. That's a pass all the way. Makes the catch in open space. Well, the offense has done a good job getting down inside the 20 in the so-called red zone or green zone by some teams. But the defense, you can be a little more aggressive now because you don't have to worry about the length of the field. It is shortened, so take advantage of it and attack this offense a little more. Play number six coming up on this drive. Dropping back to throw. Wide open for the catch. He's in for the score. the Texans for the extra point the point after is good and after that extra point the Texans are leading by seven Julian Edelman ready to run with this one not giving up another inch he holds the NFL record with 50 touchdown passes in one season, quarterback Tom Brady. Tom Brady, been good for so long now, year after year, just puts up unbelievable numbers. First and 10, handoff. Going to lose yards here. When you look at the Patriots, how do you back up 2011? The season by tight end Rob Gronkowski, a player to watch here today. We've heard it from many coaches, Jim, when they talk about Rod Gronkowski. They are shocked at how athletic he is once they see him on the field in person. He can run, catch, and big enough and strong enough to run you over. As we get a look at the defensive starters, these linebackers will be counted on today to make plays in the running and passing games. Third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Brandon Lloyd with the catch. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. He wants to return this one. They tackle him at the 26-yard line.
Texans come onto the field for their next series. First down here. He'll go ground. He's headed right. And he's taken out of bounds. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Steps back to throw. Looking across the middle, right where it had to be. In on the stop. This is what you call throwing a wide receiver open against man-to-man -man coverage. Throw to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And they sack the quarterback. You got to make adjustments as a quarterback. When the pressure's there, forget the fake. Get in position and get rid of that football. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. He's wide open for the grab. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass, even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Looking to the right side and throwing. The Texans now move the chains. Well, it's another first down for the offense, and I'll tell you who the happiest guys are here in this stadium right now. It's the defensive player sitting over on the sideline, getting a drink of water, having a little oxygen, the fan blowing on them. It's nice this time of day to be a defender. First down and 10. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second down and 11. Safety valve time. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and 12 to go. Squeezes it into coverage. Puts up six. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Makes the PAT. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. Patriots ready to take over the football. They come to the line and it's first down. Trying to get it out. Ball's on the ground. Nice tackle. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. Second down here after that run play. The quarterback throws to the right. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Good job by the quarterback that time. He didn't take the bait. He didn't throw it down the football field. He threw it short to the open receiver, and we've seen it so many times. Throw it to the guy is open and see if the defense can make the tackle. Stylistically, Phil, what about Tom Brady as a thrower? Well, it's he constantly works on it, uh, always trying to perfect his technique. It's like a golfer in the golf swing. Are you ever satisfied? Well, when you go out there and you're going to be perfect, then you're going to be satisfied. But that doesn't happen in the NFL. So that's what I admire about him are his work habits, 
and is a diligence to pay attention to the little things that can make him better. Second down. It's handed to the running back. Hey, up the middle. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Drop back, shotgun formation. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did.